Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 9, Multiple Context for Triggers. So when I talk about context or triggers, what we're really talking about is profiles. Um, such as, for example, uh, at a particular time, this happens. So that is our trigger, or that is the context under which that happens. Or... Uh, if uh, you're on a call, if you if you received a call or making a call, that's the context. Under that context, then these things are triggered. The, this profile is turned off, and then it's turned back on when that call is over. So those are context or profiles. So we're going to start. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is multiple context. And we're going to start uh, using what we did in the last lesson. We created the secret lock screen, which you'll remember uh, whenever the display turned off, the secret lock screen uh, was triggered. And uh, I have it off right now, so let's turn it on. And uh, we put in a delay. That's 101 secret lock. Uh, we put in a delay. Um, I lowered my delay to one second for the sake of, of the lessons. We don't have to wait each time. But uh, as you can see, you could make it however long you wanted to make it. So the, the lock screen would only uh, come on when you do, after a certain amount of time. So we're going to leave it one second for now. And it's on. So just to uh, demonstrate, turn my screen off, turn my screen on. And you'll see we can't do anything. But if we slide up, now we can do something. So that was the uh, uh, the lock screen. So as uh, someone pointed out in uh, one of the videos, and uh, I can't remember the name right now to give credit, but I'll I'll do so. Uh, I'll make it appear up on screen right now. But uh, as he pointed out, for some people, if you're on a phone call and you're talking on the phone, your display turns off. And because for this trigger, we have any time the display turns off, initiate the lock screen. Uh, when that happens, the lock screen would initiate. Now, let's say you're still on that phone call and you uh, pull the phone away from, from your uh, ear because you want to enter something. Either uh, maybe you're doing a, uh, you're on one of those stupid automated calls where you have to enter buttons, or you just now you want to while you're talking, you're trying to look up something on your phone. That lock screen would be engaged. Wouldn't be that big of a deal if you have a simple uh, a gesture like we have where you just slide up to make it go away. You could just slide up and make it go away. But alternatively, you could just decide, you know what, when I'm on a phone call, I don't want that to happen. When I'm on a phone call, I don't want the lock screen to engage at all. And you can do that by adding a second context. Our first context or trigger here is anytime the display is off, do something. In, in this case, we have engaged the secret lock. So by long pressing on the context, you can add an additional context. So let's add, and let's say state, and then phone, and then call, and type incoming, outgoing, or any. We want to say any, because regardless of whether we uh, received the call and made the call. We don't want that lock screen engaging. And then we're going to invert. So this would initially be a, a trigger or context that when you want, some, you want something to happen uh, uh, when you are uh, on the call or when you, uh, anytime you're on the phone. And we want this uh, to happen anytime we're not on a call. So we're going to click invert. So now it'll only happen if we're not on a call and then click back and now you see you have two contexts the first context is that the display is off and the second context is that you're not on a call so if the display turns off and you're not on a call it will trigger this task however if the display turns off but you are on a phone call then all the contexts have not been fulfilled, and it will not trigger uh, the task. It's a very uh, simple way to add uh, additional functionality 
to the uh, uh, profile that we had already created. So that's that's how you add an additional context. So let's do another one. Only this one we're going to do from scratch, and uh, we're going to kind of show a couple of different things as we do this. But uh, let's say that uh, in the evenings, a lot of times you and your spouse or your roommate or whatever you're hanging out in the living room and watching TV. But maybe whatever he or she is watching, a lot of times you don't really care for, and so you prefer to play games on your phone. But obviously you don't want your phone making lots of noise while you're doing that. So we're gonna create a profile that when you open one of your games, it'll turn down the volume. But we only want that to happen between certain hours in the evening when you generally play games while you're in the room with someone else watching TV. So we're gonna start by creating a, a new profile. Let's say one, oh one, TV game. And we're gonna first start by picking application. So we're gonna pick the game or games. You can put pick multiple things. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna pick one or two here. Let's see. Let's go down to this particular game I'm looking for, McPixel, which if you haven't tried it, is a pretty pretty fun game. So we're going to say McPixel, and then we'll say another one. I'm going to say Moon Chaser. We'll pick that. Now you could pick, go through and pick every game on your phone so that no matter what game you open during that time, you'd be safe. Um, or if there's just one or two games you normally play, you pick those. Once you're done, you click the Done slash back button. Now in previous lessons we've always created our task first and then created our profile that we want to trigger the task. But in this case where we created a profile we haven't yet created the task. I wanted to show you that you can do the, do it this way as well. So created the trigger, the profile, and, but we haven't created the task so you just go to the top and you tap new task. And our new task we're gonna say uh, I'm going to start with 101. Again, you can leave that out if you want. And then MED for media. And we're going to say down. We're going to lower the media volume. And then click the check mark. And now, here's your task to set up. We're going to add some actions to that. Or one action, really. Audio. And media volume. And we're going to take it all the way down. To one, so media volume to one, and that's going to be it for that. Click the done, and now you see. Anytime you open either of these two uh, applications, which are games, it's going to trigger lowering the media. But we want to add another context to this because we don't want it to happen every time we open these games. Only when we open these games during the evening when or in the living room and people are watching TV. So we're going to long press, we're going to click add, and our next context is going to be time. So let's say uh, evening hours are about 8 o'clock to 11.30. So we'll say 8 to 11.30, there we go, 11.33. And then click the done button. So now you see if you open one of these and it's between 8 and uh, 11.33, then it'll trigger turning the media volume down. But there's one other thing we want to do. When we're done playing the game, if we close out the game, we want the media volume to go back up to normal. So we're going to add an exit task, which we've done before. I'm going to long press on this, add exit task. Again, if the task hasn't been created yet, you can just go new task. Oops. And then we're going to go 1, oh, 1. Where did my screen go? That was weird. My screen flipped out on me. So let's long press, add exit task, new task. There we go. One, oh, one, and then media up. Put the 
check mark. Now we're going to click add to add an action. We're going to go to audio again, media volume, and it's already at 15, the maximum, which is what we want it to return to. So click the done button at the top left. And that's going to be it for that task. So done. And here you go. So now if we open one of these apps and it's between 8 and 11 30 p.m then it will turn the media volume down when we close the app it will turn the media volume back up so uh, right now we're not during that time so we can i guess prove that it won't trigger since uh we're not during that time let's go back to my home screen and go to that app uh, there it is, Megapixel. So I'm going to click that. It's going to open up. And you can hear it. It's a pretty, pretty loud game. So we're going to exit out of here. So we're exited out of that. We'll go back into task where you can see it didn't do anything. Even though we opened one of these, we weren't during the, the time we set. So let's change this so that we can show that it does work if you are within the time frame. Let's go, uh, it's, 1300 which is 1 o'clock and right now it's 1 p.m. So let's say between 1 o'clock and 2.30 so between 1 and 2.30 which it is so now the context is if we open one of these and it's between 1 and 2.30 then turn the uh, media volume down while you're playing the game turn it back up after you're done so let's go out of there and let's look at our media volume levels and you can see the media volume level is up so now we can go and we can open that game there we go so we're going to open the game and you can see you can't hear it i can hear it just barely barely I don't know if the mic is going to pick it up on um, the camera because it's lower down to volume level one. So that's why you're not hearing anything. We'll, we'll exit out of here again. And now that we're exited out of there, let's go to volume levels and you see the volume level on media has been turned back up so as you can see it does work and basically we've added multiple context so that when we open one of these apps if it's within a designated time then you trigger something and when you exit we have an exit task as well but if you open one of these apps and it's not during this time then it's not going to do anything so that's how you uh, uh, create uh, multiple context. Um, and you can have more than two. If you were to long press on here, you could add an additional context. So you can have as many contexts as you want to have. Um, also, a reminder that you can also, uh, besides triggering a task, you can also have an exit task, which uh, uh, triggers once you've, uh, once these things are no longer true. So that's how you do uh, multiple contexts in um, multiple contexts, multiple context inside of Tasker, and uh, that's it for this lesson. Um, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my channel. And just I uh, have tons of Android app reviews uh, aside from the Tasker tutorials, and also some NFC tutorials and things like that. Uh, you can favorite uh, the playlist if you want to keep up with this particular playlist and future tasker lessons as more will be coming down the pipeline um, and share this with uh, anyone you know who's uh, into android or into tasker or maybe isn't in a tasker but you think they should be 
Anyway, that's it for this time. Uh, until next time, have fun with Tasker.